What's up guys, Lord Glucus here, and we're on Power World, and I just want to give you guys a sort of beginner's tutorial on how POW jobs work, and how you can have automated farms like these over here. So, if we quickly head over to any way to look at our POWs, see I've got quite a few here, we're going to use this Lamble as an example, and if you press X on it, and I don't know what the PC bind is. You can see that you have the work suitability down in the bottom. So you can see that this Lambo has handiwork level 1, transporting level 1, and farming level 1. So that's the jobs that a certain power can do. And obviously, depending on what the job is, depends on what they'll be able to do. As you can see, this guy's mining. This guy's watering the plants. This guy is logging, you know, we got ranching over here. I'm going to explain everything, don't you worry, but that's just how it works, pretty much. So, as you can see, at the bottom of the PAL uh, computer, you have these work slots. So, if you want a PAL to work on your base, on your farm or whatever, you just stick them in here, and they will automatically do... Uh, any job that's available it's on some weird like priority system i don't really know how it works but basically if they can log they're probably gonna start off by logging unless they can do something else first and the amount of slots that you have depends on your base level so because my base is level 10 i have 10 slots and i don't know what it caps out as but as you can see at the bottom of the screen it says max powers working at base 10 out of 11, which would obviously be the next level. So what are the jobs? I'm just going to go in order and I'm going to explain as far as I'm aware what they're used for. So kindling is, I think, specific to fire type powers. And this allows you to cook food here. In your campfire as well as allowing your furnace to work so if i then put this in here i cannot do anything here without kindling so kindling is a very very good skill uh to have or very good job to have it's it's mandatory basically you need to have it uh next up we have planting so planting all planting does is it just automatically plants seeds at a farm so it's, what, it's one of the things that you need in order to have an automated farm, which we'll talk about uh, near the end. But planting, all it does is plant seeds. Handiwork will craft, help you craft items and as well as buildings. So if we go over here and I start, I, let's just make some wool, right? Now, when one of these guys is available, they're going to run over and they're going to start crafting this. And it's also the same with if we wanted to put down, let's say we put down another wooden chest. Ignore my base, it's trash. But if we put down a wooden chest, you can see all of these guys are now going to run over and they're going to start building it. So handiwork basically allows, uh, it allows powers to create buildings and stuff. And they're just going to go out to work. Now it only works on the blueprints, so when you're actually building your base... So if I quickly, you know, just put a wall, like, can I even, okay, if I just do that, this insta-builds, so you don't, it's not going to have your powers build that for you, because that insta-builds. Uh, next up, we have lumbering. Lumbering and mining are super simple. They are literally just cutting down trees and um, mining rocks. That's really it. It so over here I have this uh, this stone pile and this lumber yard. Now these are infinite sources of the material. So when they're working, they're just going to be over here and they're just going to be mining this. And same with the lumber yard, they're just going to go over here and cut down trees, generate wood. If you don't have those endless pits, uh, they're just going to run around here. And they're just going to cut down trees or mine rocks. Uh, they're going to leave all the items on the floor. But we'll get to who deals with that when we get there. Alright, so after lumbering, we have medicine production. Which I haven't had to use yet. But I assume that's purely just because over here we have a medicine table. 
and that would just create medicine. Super simple. Next we have transporting. So transporting is the important one. So when an item is on the floor or when these have been harvested, basically items are going to get put on the floor and these transporters are going to pick up the item and then they are going to move it into one of your chests and they, they will even prioritize uh, chests that already have the item in so it will instead of just randomly picking a chest you can see that out of all of these none of them have power balls except this one because there's already a stack in here as well as it also being the closest one um after a farm is done so once these like berries for example have been harvested the berries will just be put on the floor and they don't automatically get picked up unless you have a transporter. So the transporter is probably the most useful one out of all of them, at least in terms of automating your base, which I think everyone wants to do. All right, so watering is next. So watering so far I know of has two uses. So you can see that the this pen gullet is watering now. So obviously it's going to water your crops after they've been planted. As well as over here at the at the uh, the crusher and the mill, so we have the mill over here, we have the crusher here. Both of these require watering in order to work, so that's an, another use. Generating electricity, that's more of an end game thing because uh, there's uh, electric furnaces and like other electrical items that do require you to have power. Uh, so that's just an in-game thing. Um, and most electric powers can do that. Uh, we have gathering next. Now, gathering confused me. If we look over here, you can see this says gathering too. So gathering really confused me because I thought that gathering would, well, gather stuff, right? But all gathering does is it harvests crops if i'm wrong about that if there's any other uses feel free to flame me in the comments that's absolutely fine i will accept any flaming but as far as i can tell all gathering is used for is for harvesting crops once they're fully grown and then they don't do anything with the crops they've gathered they will just you have to have a a uh, transporter to then move it so kind of cringe but as far as I'm aware, that's the only thing that you can do with them. Uh, we spoke about mining already. We have cooling, which is for ice Pokemon. Uh, not Pokemon. I mean, it might as well be Pokemon. But for ice pals. Um, and that's literally just for cooling stuff down. It's really obvious. So I have a cooler box here, which when, uh, when it's being cooled by a pal, it makes food last longer. Um, this can be upgraded into like a refrigerator and there's there's probably some other uses as well but as far as i am at level 16 that's that's what it's used for so cooling is really easy now probably the most complex one purely because there's so many different variables is farming so if a pal has farming so you can see the lamble does but pen gullet doesn't but Kremis does, and you know we can go on. Not not many of these. Uh, Chickpea does, and then we go over here. Uh, Mozzarina, you can. You get the idea. So these guys, that whole thing is just going to be over here at a ranch. I don't know if there's any other things it can be used for, but I know it's mainly for the ranch. And all they do here is they graze. So when they're grazing. They're basically just spawning in items. So you can see that I've got arrows down here and gold coins. So certain pals will create different items. So, for example, I'm using the Vixies because they spawned the gold coins, the arrows, as well as the pal spheres. Which is why I have like 130 or however many I have in this chest. But it's worth looking up what drops what. If you have like a lamb ball in here, they will constantly generate wool. And, you know, other stuff like that. 
it's worth looking up. I'm not going to go over all of them, but it's worth looking up what drops what. But that's what farming means. It means it can go into the ranch and spawn items. So you kind of just have to wait and see what the items do. So just for the end of this, as this is kind of just like a brief overview, I will give you some examples on how you can make things automatic, basically. So as you can see here, this is a berry thing. And you can see that Tanzi over here has a lot of jobs he can do. And one of them is planting. So he's my designated planter as well as Lift Monk, who also has a bunch of jobs that they can do. So you need a planter, right? The planter is going to plant the seeds. Once they've planted the seeds, they then need to be watered. So here I have Pen Gullet. And Pen Gullet is watering the plants. You know, ideal. And what's going to happen after that is they're going to then grow. And then you need someone with gathering who is going to then harvest the plants. So, for example, both my Tansy and my Lift Monk also have gathering level one. So once these are grown, they are going to be gathered by them. So I'm just going to chill. And I'm going to come back once they're grown. And then I can show you what I mean. So there we go. My berries are now grown. So now these two guys are going to run over. And they're going to start harvesting them. So I was just watering the wheat here. As uh, Pengala is taking a short break. Well deserved. These guys might stop halfway through. Because it is becoming night time. Uh, yeah he's resting. Right, We're just going to sleep real quick and we'll be back so as you can see they've harvested it and they've left all of the berries down here you can see in the middle and these guys are now transporting it into this food basket thing the feed box and that's going to automatically go in there and that's an automatic farm and again it's the same with say this might this uh mining pit of this stone pit the powers are going to come over they're going to mine so i'm just going to because they're going to be mining like this and then periodically, they are going to come over and they're going to grab a bit of stone and then they're going to run it into a chest. So, you know, for example, they would do this, they'll lob it in there and then they'll run back and they'll keep doing that. Same with the trees, same with the grazing, obviously, as there's quite a lot here. Now, just a quick tip, if you want something to focus on only doing one thing, you can... Go up to them and you can yep. lift them up and in an extremely humane way you just throw them at what you want and you can see that it now has a fixed assignment to ranch so in no circumstances will this vixie now do a different job so if you wanted to specialize like if you wanted say this cativa to only mine you just throw it at the mine. And that did not work. Okay. Is it going to work now? There we go. Yeah. So now it's fixed the time at the stone pit. So now this Kativa is only going to mine. I don't want him to do that. But that's just the example. Alright. Well, there we go. That's a basic overview of how the jobs and stuff work in Power World. Uh, if you guys have any questions or if you want to correct me on anything, feel free to let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.